What's up guys, it's your boy WineDXCJ coming at you with a discussion video on a topic that I felt would be really cool to talk about, Team Deathmatch Battlefield 5. So I'm pretty sure that we can all agree that Team Deathmatch isn't everyone's staple game mode when they think of Battlefield 5. However, this has been a mode that has appeared in every Battlefield game to date, I believe. And let's be honest, for those that play Team Deathmatch, and even for those that don't really play Team Deathmatch, we would all find it kind of strange if we didn't see it in the Battlefield game or they took it out for some reason. Now, before we get into the discussion, let me just say that I've always loved TDM in Battlefield. I love the feel of infantry going at it and everyone just bodying the fuck out of each other. It's always been a great experience for me. It's a great mode, but like any game mode in Battlefield, it's not without its flaws. So, to reiterate, I thought it would be really cool to discuss some aspects of Team Deathmatch in Battlefield that are good, bad, and some that might need changing. So I took to Reddit and asked around on the topic, and I got some pretty interesting responses. But in order to give this video some structure, I'm going to break the video down into four simple parts. First and foremost, some people's overall opinions on how they feel Team Deathmatch is as a game mode. Secondly, some good points that people thought and made about the mode itself third some not so good points and some constructive criticisms they have against the mode and fourthly some overall changes that some people felt would be a good change to the game mode that would make it more fun and interesting to play so originally i was going to title this video why no one likes tdm and battlefield but as i asked around and i got some responses that's really not the case at all and to be honest a lot of people show more disappointment than downright not liking the mode so let's get right into the first point overall a lot of the responses were actually positive towards team deathmatch which was like i said against my judgment of originally what i thought people would like about this mode Again, a lot of people really like Team Deathmatch overall as a move, but there's a large portion of people that answer my polls and I talked to that were really disappointed with how Team Deathmatch, specifically in Battlefield 5, turned out. And of course, there were people that obviously didn't really like the mode, of course. So, besides from the people who didn't really care for the mode, it was really interesting to see that a lot of people liked the mode, but there was also a lot of people who liked the mode but were disappointed with the mode. And with that, I'm going to go into the second point of what people really like about Team Deathmatch. First and foremost, a lot of people on Reddit found that Team Deathmatch was a great place to practice out their aim, which I didn't really think about until people told me about it. Like, I didn't really go into TDM personally expecting to teach myself how to train and use the STG-44 or the Sten or the LMGs and MMGs. I just kind of wanted to play. Another point of this was that a lot of people went into TDM to sort of wind down from the craziness and the off-the-wallness of Battlefield's main staple modes like Conquest or Breakthrough, which I totally understood because there'd be a numerous amount of occasions where I'm six, seven games into Breakthrough or Conquest, and I'm like, bro, I really want to keep playing this game, but it's just a lot to take in. Like, you really get shell-shocked as a player, and, like, you start to feel this fatigue set in. And I know some people are just like, all right, well, you should just get off the game, but a lot of people don't want to get off Battlefield. They want to keep playing, but it's just a lot to take in. And a lot of people found that TDM was a great stand-in mode to sort of wind down and decompress from all the craziness. Obviously, of course, you have the people that like TDM because they can sort of take the game into their own hands, which I can personally agree with this a lot. I really like the individuality that Team Deathmatch gives you. Yeah, Battlefield is a team-based game, which I love. I, dear God, I love that the most. But it really hurts sometimes when you got a lot of scrubs or apes on your fucking team and you can't do anything because no one is collective enough to push the flag or plant the bomb or 
take a hill or something and it can be really frustrating where so in TDM if you want to sweat it out you could literally carry your team to a victory and it feels really good to do that there's also the great point that a lot of people just really like infantry on infantry combat which I think is a great point because of course battlefield has its objective based vehicle based big outlandish maps but at the core of that there's your infantrymen your rifles your snipers your grenade launchers your submachine guns all that and sometimes it's just cool to have that man-on-man -man combat you know without having to worry about a fucking tiger busting through the door or getting ran over by a half track or getting bombed by a corsair or something i don't know it's just a nice change of pace from all the excitement that battlefield can bring you now of course with the good you have to talk about the bad and there's a lot of things that a lot of people are disappointed with on battlefield 5's take of tdm and let's get the first easiest one out the way right now the motherfucking maps oh my god people despise some of the maps on battlefield 5's tdm not all of them not all of them some maps are actually pretty decent and like Morita and province the like really infantry focused maps those maps pretty dang cool but certain maps like pacific storm motherfucking hamada and fucking aerodome bro don't even get me started on aerodome those maps are just garbage like just they just make you want to throw up like oh no those maps are just some maps are just no just cut them get them out i don't even care just take them out don't need them a lot of people also feel like you can't really utilize the classes as much in tdf match which i can kind of see but you kind of got to get a little creative like obviously the easiest one is medic because you can easily see a dude get body pick him up keep the tickets alive keep man in the fight recon is also another pretty easy one because it's like you got the flare so you can just spot motherfuckers or run around with the poa rifle or something so that's not too bad it can get a little tricky with assault and support because you can't really lay down a locker area down with support and you can't be really too mobile with certain class uh, certain guns and assault you're not really blowing up vehicles so a lot of your explosive sort of gadgets are not i'm not gonna say useless but a little lackluster especially some of the like main like what are you gonna do with an at mod on fucking team death match uh, i mean you can probably get real crafty with it, like shoot it and blow it up or something but come on now who's really gonna do that another problem and this one's going to be kind of controversial because i kind of said it was a good thing earlier but this can also be sort of a bad thing if you're trying to wind down and get away from all the bullshit tdm does have a lot of sweaty ass try hard motherfuckers like running around with type 2 a's and zh 29s and all that good shit body and everyone in their sight yeah that can be pretty annoying and pretty common in certain team deathmatch maps lastly i want to talk about some of the changes that people thought would be some pretty good ones to implement to team deathmatch to make it a better mode and once again guys i just want to reiterate that this is a fun discussion that i wanted to have because i like playing team deathmatch and i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys like playing team deathmatch so i just thought it'd be cool to sort of brainstorm some ideas talk about some likes and dislikes just to get the juices going you know it's always nice to talk about these sort of things but to get right into it a lot of people think that first and foremost either raising and even in some cases i saw lowering the player count would be pretty cool and improve the game in certain aspects which i could definitely see raising the player count because i'm pretty sure on battlefield 4 they had uh like a tdm large sort of type of thing am i thinking of conquest probably conquest i don't know but either way it would be pretty cool to see a larger sort of base team deathmatch style maybe 
32 man team death match or something like that i don't know i think it'd be pretty cool another great point that i saw was maybe add some transport vehicles to the mode i know i kind of said before that getting away from sort of all the vehicles and stuff was a sort of a plus for team death match but if you really think about it from my own personal experience and some people on reddit that i've talked to a lot of the transport vehicles like barely really get used on some of the bigger modes and if they get used it's to just like go three feet and then motherfuckers just jump out but in some of the bigger tdm maps when you're literally running around for three minutes at a time just to get bodied by someone hiding in the woods it can kind of get annoying and having certain transport vehicles can even sort of shake up the flow of the map and how people play another great idea that some people came up with that i saw was to have better maps <laughs> this is plain and simple like you don't even have to do a lot battlefield ea like some of your maps are just terrible just use a different section and you'll probably be fine and maybe even make one or two more infantry focused maps just some ideas you know because i really like province um marita is really cool and even like mercury even though it's sort of a little bigger than both of them but it's not really that big that's even a really cool team deathmatch map and i find myself spending a lot of time on mercury playing team deathmatch and it's really nice really even really beautiful map and for my last point of what could make the mode a little bit better uh what i've seen a lot of um, from the people that I asked, and this kind of goes along with the map thing, um, is to have better sort of power positions or fighting points. A lot of these maps don't really have good power positions or choke points, and I think that would be really cool to sort of shake up the sort of flow and aspect of the map and really change how people think about where the next engagements are going to be and how they should pursue this person or fall back. And I think sort of having these power positions even if they're not highlighted would be a really cool sort of way to shake up team deathmatch and to keep it fresh so that's all my points guys um like i said this video was just for fun like having meaningful discussions picking at your brain i know this probably got you thinking about something it might be negative it might be positive it might be constructive or it might be destructive who knows but it got you thinking about something right um so leave your comments down below on what you think sucks about the mode what's great about the mode why you like it what would you change about it i would love to hear them i would love to read them we could talk about it some more um if you guys really want to stick around i hope you guys enjoyed the content be sure to like comment share subscribe it's been your boy ynt be sure to stick around for the next video peace out